Hello and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 6th of July for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. You can also now join me at Twitter at Horoscope Ace, chat to me direct, or join Elisa and I for our daily astrology and tarot show, video show on YouTube by seeing the link beneath this video. You can also grab your free daily horoscope by doing so. It's proving great fun and really popular. Now, as we come into this new week, the power of the penumbular lunar eclipse is pouring its energy into the back of this week. And it forged a very positive link with Ceres, which is very much to do with nurture in the caring sign of Pisces and also Uranus in the sign of Taurus. So we have a potential for growth that comes from this energy in Capricorn. It's about appreciating, I feel, the more practical side of the way we interact with people. Of course, the sun itself is in the sign of Cancer, but the eclipse in the sign of uh, Capricorn. So I think there's going to be quite a lot of, of energy about this week where we're wanting to make the most of our resources to refocus our efforts in a way which gives us some sense of tangible security, which then feeds into our sense of emotional well-being. But Venus and Mars go into a superb link, one which is going to last for pretty well the remainder of July. So if you are wanting to get your social situation reinvigorated, this can certainly help. Also, the Sun forges a beautiful link with Neptune in the second half of this week, asking us all to stay very much in touch with our intuition. And then Mercury in the sign of Cancer ends its retrograde as this week draws to a close. The 10-week journey of Mercury through the sign of Cancer is quite complex and it's basically asking us to express how we feel. So if there has been any cross wires or glitches, especially about a home-based business, technology, or perhaps within the family, I think as this week draws to a close, there is an opportunity to straighten these out. But there is also a quarter moon in Aries on Sunday, which squares up to the sun in the sign of Cancer. It's just saying that if we're a little bit impulsive and quick thinking as this week draws to a close, we could stub our proverbial toes a little bit. So it is important with all this Cancerian energy still around to stay very sensitive, stay attuned to the more spiritual side of things which comes through Neptune, but also embrace the more practical theme that does come through that eclipse. Your specific forecast, Virgo, shows the big news that your ruler, Mercury, goes direct at the end of this week. But of course, it won't be coming out of shadow quite at that point. And it is still retracing its steps for most of this week. So care around communications, but particularly around friendships or thinking or planning for your future is still going to be important. The energy of the lunar eclipse for you is also about marshalling your time or resources wisely. If you spread yourself too thinly, trying to please everybody, which we know is a little bit of an empty task at the best of times, is probably going to be counterproductive. And yet, the sun in the second half of this week does make a very kindly link to Neptune. And some compassion or thoughtfulness on your part, particularly towards someone in your circle, could really be appreciated. Yet, ironically, by the end of this week, if there is a situation where there's any gossip or politics washing around, you may prefer to keep your distance. Thank you so much for having joined me. If you'd like to ascend above your zodiac sign and embrace serious astrology, why not check out my affordable range of astrology reports by clicking the link below. You can get 30% off if you order a year's forecast and a character analysis. Or perhaps you'd like to have a one-to-one -one with me personally. Please see my testimonials below. But for now, take care, stay safe and good luck.